Hey, I'm Alex Bluen here from Sage, and I'm super excited to talk to you about the next generation of saltwater fly rod, the Salt R8. In saltwater fishing, something that we've really learned is that it's all about maximizing your time. Whether that time is making a presentation at a tailing permit at 80 feet, glassed out conditions, and you really need to make that shot count in the small area, or it's pulling on a large tarpon and making sure that you're bringing it in in an efficient manner to reduce stress on the fishery. So with the Salt R8, we really wanted to hit on these two key features of strength and durability and touch. So the first piece of that equation is the strength and durability. And frankly, that was the easy part for us because of our introduction of R8 technology. The R8 material itself gives a 25% increase in strength and durability all by itself. And so what we wanted to do with the Salt R8 was really harness that strength and build it into the finest performing saltwater tool available to anglers. So we really wanted to focus on the butt section of the rod with uh, pulling power to make sure that there was enough power to really pull in a large tarpon, especially when it gets closer to the boat or put the stop to a, a bonefish that's heading into the mangroves. What else that strength and durability allowed us to do was to maybe pull back a little bit and add more touch and finesse to the castability of the Salt R8. So with that foundation of strength and durability, the main key feature that we wanted to focus on with the Salt R8 was the finesse and touch. What we've learned is that largely by the third false cast, that presentation opportunity is already gone. And so we really wanted to bring more control and more touch, more finesse to the casting performance of the Salt R8. So especially in higher weights like the 10s and 11s, uh, the 11 in particular being a key tarpon rod, we really wanted to improve upon the castability when you're dealing with such a, a large diameter blank and a more powerful blank that's casting larger lines and needs to have the fight to be able to pull on a large fish. It also really needs to have that presentation capability, whether the fish is right at the boat side at 10 feet or you're reaching out to a string of tarpon that's at 80, 90 feet. You need to have that control and that flex and, and that feel throughout the entirety of the casting stroke to be able to make that shot with one, maybe two false casts. So now with the core purpose of this rod identified, I'd really like to run you through some of the key features that make this a saltwater specific rod. The first feature that I'd like to talk to you about is the guide set, starting with the stripper guides. For the salt I rate, we've introduced the Fuji K guides. The Fuji K guides feature a unique shape with an up orientation and a rounded bar here that allows for your line to easily slide through without getting wrapped around or tangled around the blank. They're also oversized to allow easy knot pass through. Next, we have the snake guides. The snake guides are oversized to allow for easy knot pass through, things like a bimini when you're pulling in a tarpon at the last two minutes of the fight. In addition, they also feature the lowest friction available to the fly rod market to date, so your fly line is going to slide through them effortlessly. The next feature I'd like to talk to you about is the saltwater specific reel seat. We've introduced a more robust saltwater specific reel seat for the Salt R8, starting with oversized lock nuts for a more secure connection for your reel to your rod. We also moved the hook keeper to the top of the blank that's going to allow for easier and quicker access to the fly when the moment is on the line. Next, I'd like to talk to you about the handle. The lineup of Salt R8s from six through 15 weight feature three different handle configurations. The six through 12 weight are gonna feature a saltwater specific full wells handle and oversized EVA foam fighting butt for comfort during the fight. For larger tarpon or blue water applications, the 12 weight also has an additional extended foregrip option for increased pulling power. Lastly, the 15 weight also features a slightly longer foregrip in addition to an enlarged fighting butt for blue water applications when fish have sounded and you need to pull them up over the gunnel. Next, I'd like to take you through the skew lineup. The Salt R8 features rods from six through 15 weight to cover a multitude of saltwater applications. Starting with the six weight, that was designed as your ultra light flats fishing tool. It's not your average six weight. It's gonna feature a more robust butt section for pulling on hard fighting saltwater fish and give you enough finesse for fishing small flies in, in very light wind conditions when presentation is super critical. The seven weight is going to be your all around lighter duty flats rod. Whether you're targeting bonefish or redfish or anything that requires a little bit lighter of a touch, but you're still looking for to have that pulling power capability of a, of a coarse saltwater rod, the seven weight is gonna be your go-to. The eight weight is your bread and butter all around flats tool for a wide variety of species. 
It's your core bone fish rod. It's a great all around red fish rod. Stripers up in the Northeast. It'll be a great tool for flats fishing for stripers. It's gonna cover the widest variety of fly sizes and presentation opportunities for the saltwater angler. The nine weight is gonna be a great, slightly heavier duty all around rod. It'll make a great all around permit rod for throwing things like spawning shrimp or crabs, uh, but provide you with enough finesse when conditions are all of a sudden slicked out. The 10 weight is going to be your heavier, start in your heavier duty category. The 10 weight is gonna make a great heavy duty permit rod when throwing much larger crabs, heavier crabs. It's gonna make a great winter redfish rod. It's also gonna be a great lighter duty tarpon rod for that 50 to 75 pound tarpon. The 11 weight is your core tarpon rod that was specifically designed for your core tarpon fisheries in South Florida. It's gonna give you great presentation capabilities for every caster, whether it's slicked out conditions or you have a fish that all of a sudden shows up 10 feet on the bow of the boat. It's also gonna give you incredibly strong pulling power to make sure you're capturing that fish and bringing it in in an efficient and uh, respectful manner. The 12 weight is gonna make a great heavier duty tarpon rod for things like jungle fishing in Costa Rica. It's gonna give you much more pulling power and was designed around having more power in the butt section specifically for pulling on fish. It'll also make a great lighter duty blue water rod for things like large mahi-mahi or smaller tuna. The 15 weight is your core blue water rod. That was designed around things like large tuna, marlin, and all sorts of billfish. For the angler that's looking for the most adrenaline and wants to go out looking for huge fish in the blue water, the 15 weight is gonna be the tool of choice. When time is of the essence and the fish of a lifetime is within your sights, maximize your opportunity through more fight, more touch with the all new Salt R8.